speed down the back straight. And Ty Woffenden, the talented young British rider, has never won a Grand Prix before. He's been in the series in 2010 when he admitted it was too early for him. And here comes Kasper Zak at the inside. Oh, oh Pedersen hard on him. And Pedersen has lost Ow. control of the bike. It's in the last lap as well. There is no red light. The referee allows the race to continue. Ty Woffenden of Great Britain is going to win his first ever Grand Prix. What a story. Let's say best wishes to Nicky Pedersen and hope that he's up very shortly. But he won't finish the race. But Ty Woffenden is the man of the moment. He's now just a point behind Emil Saifudinov in the race for the world title. It's very tense here, and that's a super start from Ty Woffenden in blue now. He has that lead. Hancock is in second in red, but it's bunching up, and Pedersen's going to try the outside line once again. Will Hancock take him wide? Pedersen's got the drive. Hancock holds second place. Now Pedersen's going to have a go, and Zagor oh! is in there as well. Zagor comes up the inside. Hancock was really quite clever there, leaving Pedersen nowhere to go, and Zagor was able to strike and gets himself onto a rostrum position. Going into the last Last lap, Ty Woffenden, the reigning world speedway champion, has that lead down the back straight, and surely now, barring a mechanical failure, he's heading to victory, he puts his arm in the air, he knows he's going to do it again, it's a proud double for Ty Woffenden, and Greg Hancock in second, joins him on the leaderboard, it's Woffenden and Hancock who lead the world championship after four rounds, it's a great night for the great British rider, Ty Woffenden, grand final team. Two, all about the start. Hancock's made it. Wonderful gate from the old master, the 44-year-old, as Woffenden comes around the outside. Chris Holder comes through into third in yellow and Hampel's on the back. Woffenden now, though, goes high into the dirt. Ty Woffenden around the outside. Oh. What a move from the British boy. Fabulous move from Ty Woffenden. Hancock made a fantastic start initially. Possibly rode a little bit too conservative and allowed the room, but Woffenden was there to pounce. He won in Prague, and Ty Woffenden is going to pick up the third Grand Prix win of his career and the first one outside of Prague. Ty Woffenden is the big winner in Melilla, and he will also lead the World Championship by one point, going to Copenhagen for the halfway stage of the World Championship. And away they go, and Woffenden's made a good one, but so is Janowski. Now Woffenden holds it. Oh! Lost him momentarily. He's got the drive. Oh, and Pedersen almost clipped the back wheel of Yanovsky. It's now Woffenden with the lead. Max Yanovsky second, Yarek Ampel third, and Nicky Pedersen is at the back. Jason Crump won here. Three years on the trot in the early 2000s. And now Ty Woffenden of Great Britain has made it three straight wins. What an honest speedway. What a win for Woffenden. Great start from Yanovsky. Woffenden is equal to it, though. Woffenden is the early leader now. Hancock comes around the outside of Yanovsky. There's a battle for second place. Can Hancock pass Woffenden now? Woffenden, the series leader in the World Championship, has the advantage. Hancock is going to hunt him down. Woffenden is clear. He's out in front. He's comfortable. He started on his backside and he's opening right. He's going to finish with a Grand Prix victory. Brilliant stuff from him. He's winning by the length of a straight. And Ty Woffenden of Great Britain is taking another huge step towards a second world title in three years. Ty Woffenden with only the fifth Grand Prix victory of his career. He's going to take nerves of steel and Hancock has made a good start. Holder is there with him. Now Woffenden with a cheeky move on the inside. Hancock's got speed. Oh. Woffenden with a drive on the inside. Hancock now tries the inside switch. Here comes Sega. Brilliant stuff from Woffenden. He didn't make the start, but what a move in the first quarter to switch to the inside and fire himself to the front. And now he is one lap away from a win in the National Stadium in Poland. Hancock is making him work for it. Hancock on the inside. Woffenden closes the door. It's Great Britain's tie, Woffenden. Sixth Grand Prix of his career. Green lights on and away they go. The tape tries and it's a superstar from Dunek. And Smarslik's packed up. Smarslik has packed up. Woffenden is in the dirt. Dudek has the lead now. Woffenden's going to come on strong. Here comes Ty Woffenden around the outside. Has Woffenden got the speed? Has Woffenden got the drive? Oh, my oh, goodness yes. me! How has Woffenden pulled that up? Ty Woffenden with the lead. Dudek second. And Doyle is third. But Ty Woffenden, the twice world champion from Great Britain, takes the checkered flag. And Ty Woffenden...
has rode brilliantly all night. Lindgren's oh. made a start, but so has Laguta off too. He has made an absolutely dream start. Artem Laguta now Wolfenden around the outside. What a move from Wolfenden. Ilyanovsky comes on the inside. Magic Ilyanovsky, but Wolfenden holds the line. Wolfenden has the lead. Oh, Wolfenden's got some drive and has lost it. He's now second, but he's going high into the dirt again. Here we go. Wolfenden on the outside. Has he blown Ilyanovsky? Wolfenden out into the front. Incredible recovery from Ty Wolfenden. Ilyanovsky on the inside. Artem Laguta out of shape. Freddie Lindgren now in the third place. What a couple of laps of speedway. Wolfenden out in front, riding like a trooper, riding like a champion. It's Wolfie! 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 Well, you can't predict that modern-day speedway. Freddie Lingman, the red-hot favourite, coming into the final, finishes third place. What a ride from Ty Wolfenden. I thought he'd thrown it all away. Grand final, second time of asking, and that away. And Wolfenden has made a good start now. Can anybody pass him? Wolfenden is looking super quick. He's got the lead down the back straight. Laguta and Hancock wheel to wheel. Laguta holds second spot right now. Hancock tries to switch up the inside, but Wolfenden looks to have this race under control. Ty Wolfenden is on his way to victory here in Horsens and a 10-point lead in the world title race. What a night for Great Britain's Ty Wolfenden. He's in fantastic form. Vintage Wolfenden tonight. Finishes it off in style. Smarslik's moved at the start and he's in the back. It's Hancock who has the lead. Wolfenden around the outside! What a ride from Ty Wolfenden. And now Doyle takes out Hancock. Smarslik comes through. But now Ty Wolfenden is going to come round and he's going to enjoy a 10-point lead. Going to Torrum for the final round. Championship. It's Great Britain's Ty Wolfenden. Just when it matters most, he's delivered the knockout punch. Oh, a real memorable night. Can Wolfenden wrap it up with a victory on the night, which seems so unlikely earlier on? And he's made a beautiful start here, Ty Wolfenden. And it could well be that he will finish as world champion with a gap of 10 points. Never in doubt, Kelvin Tatum. He's not going to do it, is he? He's not going <laughs> to do it, Kelvin. <laughs> He's going to do it, he's going to do it at Teddy's. He's made a wonderful start on the inside, dropped the clutch, he's hit the front, the Gooter as hard as he's trying in second place. But with a lap to go, the new world champion is going to wrap it all up with a brilliant win in Torrent. Well, he's going down the back straight, raised arm towards his family. Here he comes, the new champion of the world, Great Britain's Ty Woffington! Whoa, what a way to wrap it up, that's fantastic. Classy performance, sensational start, and many congratulations to a great of the sport now, Ty Wuffenden.